What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to review Cora Seal, the rust converting metal primer. It makes a lot of claims. It says it's good for marine, automotive, household, and industrial use. It also says that Cora Seal eliminates the need to sandblast rust by chemically converting rust from iron oxide to magnetite a black inert substance. Don't remove rust, convert rust. So, Coraseal does two amazing things at the same time. It converts rust into a stable substance without needing to sandblast it. You just put it on. And it also primes the surface with a high quality latex metal primer at the same time. I've used Coraseal quite a bit over the last four years and I'm going to do two things today. I'm going to show you the results of how I've been using it, and I'm also going to run a little test where I apply a core seal to rusty metal and clean metal, and then apply chemicals to initiate rust, and we'll see how it holds up. I use this product in an environment that is prone to rust. I put it on my vehicle, which I drive in the winter. Winters are cold with snow, ice, slush, and salt. And this is the application that I used the Core Seal for. And according to their website, as shown here, it works great on ships and vehicle frames. So this should work perfect in this winter situation. Let's start with the test. Here's a steel plate. It's got some natural rust on one end. On this end, we're going to apply Core Seal to the rust. On this half, I'm going to clean it up so it's clean bare metal. We'll apply Chorus Seal to half of the clean metal and leave the other half natural as the control. So I'm cleaning it up. I'm using a 60 grit flapper wheel to clean it up. This should do the job. Oh yeah, it's looking pretty good. Now with it cleaned up, I'm going to mark it into thirds. There we go. Three thirds. The first third with the natural rust will have Cora Seal applied on top of rust. Cora Seal on rust. The center will have Cora Seal applied to clean metal. And the last third will just be clean metal. We're not going to add any Cora Seal. Time to bring out the Cora Seal. First, let's shake it up. That's what the directions say to do. Shake it up well before using. Now I'm going to pour some into a little cup, so it's easier to dip a paintbrush into. If I tried pouring the jug right onto a paintbrush, that would make a mess. A mess that I don't want to clean up. So here it is. It's a whitish brownish color. Take a good look. It's got some bubbles on the top because I shook it up. Now let's apply it to our test bar. I'm going to brush it on nice and even across the whole bar. So I've noticed with the core seal when it is first applied it turns black where it comes into contact with rust and usually stays pretty clear where it's in contact with bare metal or a painted surface a surface that doesn't have much rust. You can really see the rust coming through turning black but eventually when it completely dries the entire surface is black. Now we have to let it dry for 24 hours. So I'm going to sign out and I'll be back in 24 hours. Okay, it is the next day, 24 hours later, and this is what we have. The core seal has turned black in the areas where it's on rust and on clean metal. And the clean metal is still clean. There is a tiny bit of rust that started to develop on the clean metal. Let's check out the back. The core seal kind of leaked around the back a little bit too. And here's an up close of the front. Clean metal, core seal on clean metal, and core seal on rust. So that's what we've got. That's what it looks like when you apply core seal and let it dry. This is just vinegar. I'm just going to spray some on to get things going. We'll spray it on the surface and let it sit for about five minutes. Then we'll come back. 
Okay, it's been five or ten minutes, and the vinegar is dry. Now let's introduce the solution that will cause rust. It's primarily hydrogen peroxide, with some vinegar and some salt. It works pretty good. It doesn't take long to get the rust going. I'll let it sit for a while, then check back in every five or ten minutes or so. Alright, we're back. It's probably been maybe 30 minutes. I think the rust has developed enough to see what we want to see for our test. Here's a close-up of how it currently looks. It's definitely making its way into the Cora seal coated areas. The bare metal sure did see some rust. I'm going to dump all this liquid off so we can get a better look at it. Let's get a close up look. The bare metal definitely has some surface rust. If this was part of my vehicle and I was to drive it through the winters with the snow and the salt, it would definitely look this bad in no time, less than a week. So I think this test is warranted. The surfaces that were coated with Seal have lost a lot of their coating and also have surface rust showing. In my opinion, this implies that Seal will not hold up to the winter weather. It'll break down and the rust will come. Your metal is not safe with Seal. That concludes the test on this bar. Let's see some real world results. This is a problem spot on the hood of one of my vehicles. Every fall, for the last four falls, I've ground it down to bare metal, applied Seal, then primer and paint. And every year, the rust is back. Here's another problem area on this vehicle. The frame has surface rust. And once again, every fall for the last four years, I completely coat all of this with Cora Seal, with a paintbrush. And it looks good when it's done. It's all black. But then, the next year, it's all covered in rust again. It just doesn't hold up. The reason why I keep using this Cora Seal is because I have a big giant jug of it. At the time when I bought it, it made sense to buy the big one for the price. At the time, I was welding a bunch of new body panels into one of my vehicles. If you've watched my other videos, you've seen it. It's the Jeep. I tried to find some pictures of that project, but I was unsuccessful. I don't know where they are. I coated all the new clean metal and welds with Cora Seal before I painted it to prevent rust. And since then, that vehicle is only driven in the summertime on nice days. It has not seen any rain, snow, or cold weather. And there's rust coming through on the welds. So that's why I have the big jug. And now I'm stuck with it, so I just keep using it. Here's one more spot on this vehicle. A few years ago, I pulled the brake shrums off. I scotch brighted everything down, then applied Cora Seal. It looked good. It was black, and the rust was converted. Then, I even coated it with some Rust-Oleum oil-based paint for ultimate protection. But the rust has come back. So, those are the results of my personal experience and of this test that I tried out. Maybe it works great for other applications, but for my application of protecting my frame of my vehicle in winter conditions, it just doesn't hold up. According to the advertising, it should. It says it's used on boats and car frames, but it just hasn't done the job for me. There are a lot of great reviews for this product, which is why I tried it. And I've tried it many times. And this is my experience and my results. I'm going to try a different product this winter. WD-40 Specialist Corrosion Inhibitor. It's supposed to protect metal for one year. I'll be sure to take some footage after I apply it. And then do a follow up in the spring. And make a review video. As always, thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments, just leave them below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. This rust is ridiculous. It's out of control. It even leaves rust juice stains on my driveway when the car sits out in the rain.
Look at all this. I need to try something else. This core seal's not working. <laughs>